Good morning, welcome to the Mark Thomas Home Show. It's a beautiful Thursday morning here in Michigan, and I'm going to show you the Weber 7542 griddle. This accessory for my Silver Bee gas grill, it uh, is two sided. It has a raised griddle side, it has a smooth side, and today I'm going to cook breakfast on it. So I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. It's 20 inches long and 14 and a half inches wide. And I've had it for a couple years and the last time I used it I just seasoned it, or not seasoned it, but I added some more like Crisco on it to keep it from rusting. Because I uh, usually take it out and store it. So let me show you how easy it is to switch it out. Okay, so I'm going to, I can choose the right or left side. I'm going to take the right side off. Take this, the grids out here. And then this is a really tight fit. They're using every single square millimeter of the stove. It just, just fits in there. And so I have a drain hole right here. And here's a little pan where the grease can uh, drip into. So I'm gonna, here we go. I'm gonna start it up and we'll show you how long it takes. Okay, I just lit the grill and I'll show you on my watch here, see if it zooms in. All right, we'll start it up, oops, bump the camera. We're gonna start it up and see how long it takes to warm up. I'm gonna guess a good 15 minutes. Four things to do while waiting for your grill to heat. Number one. Call a friend. Number two, update your Facebook page. Number three, enjoy some coffee. Number four, enjoy a quiet moment. Okay, it's been about just over 15 minutes. It's smoking good. One way people tell the griddle's ready to go. Splatter some water on it. If it bounces and dances around, then you know it's good to go. So I'm just gonna kinda clean up, see if there's anything on there that's some old grease. All right, so let's start with the bacon. Yep, it does cook fast. Probably waited a minute too long. All right, over medium. Beautiful. So yeah, you can see in here, see if I can get a good zoom in here. There's a fair amount of grease in here. So that grease drips down the, the both sides, well, some will overflow back here and go down that way, but there is a grease hole right here. Sometimes you have to use a toothpick to clear that out. Oh yeah, there's a hole right there. And it drips down, and if you don't clean the grill itself very often, sometime you might start the grill up and it may just start flaming up pretty bad, getting a grease fire going. So you do have to take the grills out and get in there with a brush and scrape it out good and take that pan that's underneath and change it to a All clean right, pan. Alright, some parting comments with this cast iron griddle. 
Yes, it does take longer to warm up, but it is cast iron. And anyone that knows the properties of cast iron know that it does take a while to warm up. That's my uh, wrap up of the uh, Weber griddle. So thanks for watching. Please uh, give me a comment if you have something to say or a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.